As Capetonians, we are blessed to live in a city which has unsurpassed natural beauty. But sometimes we lose sight of the fact that in our growing urban setting of 4 million people, we generate a huge volume of waste each day. Marine outfalls are a globally recognized, efficient and effective way of discharging human waste, particularly by coastal cities like Cape Town. There are three marine outfalls currently in use at Hout Bay, Camps Bay and Greenpoint. I think from the city's perspective uh, what's been very interesting with the real public interest around this matter is this idea that essentially when you flush your toilet or put your garbage out for collection that it somehow disappears. And I think the, the strong message to people is that really coming out of this interest is maybe the opening up of a conversation around this idea that waste doesn't disappear. The city manages waste but it takes it somewhere else and at the end of the day all of that waste in some way comes, goes into our environment. And uh, marine outfalls in fact a very effective and efficient way of disposing of human waste and it's one of the ways that the city uses and has used for 30 years to do that. And how these outfalls work so that we can be clear around that is that the city does preliminary treatment of the waste before it goes into the outfall and what that means is it's screened through a three millimeter screen and all of the solids are removed um, and then the waste is further diluted to a ratio of 100 to 1 with fresh water and then it's released at about 1,7 kilometers offshore through a marine outfall um, and that is the standard way these outfalls work on a global basis. Our marine outfalls require a coastal waters discharge permit issued by the Department of Environmental Affairs. In its 2015 permit application, the city noted the comments and concerns received from both the scientific community and the public with regard to potential environmental impacts of the three marine outfalls. To allay any fear that people may have that these outfalls jeopardize our marine environment, water quality or public health at our beautiful beaches around the peninsula, the city is pleased to announce the findings of two recent independent studies. The first study was conducted by the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR. Done over a period of 24 months, the report concludes. Bacteria counts decrease sharply with distance from the outfall diffuser such that counts were not distinguishable from the background within about 300 meters of the outfall diffuser sections in most surveys when effluent reached the sea surface. This undoubtedly reflects the rapid dilution and dispersion of effluent. Mussels and rock lobsters collected from the shoreline and near shore along the Cape Peninsula appear not to be accumulating chemical contaminants derived from effluent in their tissue to any significant degree. There appears to be no significant or long-term ecological risk associated with chemical concentrations contaminating the ocean sediment. The CSIR concluded. It would appear most contaminants in the effluents are likely to be diluted to concentrations protective of ecosystem health soon after discharge. The study also included testing for numerous personal and pharmaceutical care products and other endocrine disrupting compounds that humans use every day. We can now positively identify which wastewater outfall and even the specific community that is discharging these chemicals. A second important fact that is noteworthy is that an independent marine environment company did a specialist peer review of the CSIR's findings. They concluded we carefully reviewed the information and measurement data in the CSIR report on the three marine outfalls operated by the City of Cape Town. We found the report to be comprehensive in its assessment of the water quality, sediment quality and contaminant levels in marine organisms like mussels and rock lobster which could have been affected by the marine outfalls. We also found the report to be scientifically robust, well laid out and logically structured. The methods used adhere to international best practice. We concur with the central finding of the survey report that there are currently no concerning effects on the marine environment or elevations in public health risks attributable to the marine outfalls. Monitoring will continue in line with legislative requirements to ensure that environmental risks from the outfalls remain low. <laughs>